former president of the United States, Ronald Reagan, once said, and I quote, we don't have a trillion dollar debt because we haven't taxed enough. We have a trillion dollar debt because we spent too much. Could this be the lot of Nigeria? As the debt profile of the country continues to rise, this has pushed Nigeria up to World Bank's top 10 International Development Association IDA borrowers list. According to the World Bank fiscal year 2022 audited financial statement, Nigeria is now rated fourth position on the list with $13 billion debt stock as at 30th of June 2022 from fifth and $11.7 billion debt stock in June 2021. BC, things are not looking up financially. It's serious. And uh, let me also mention that this is apart from another $480 million that Nigeria is owing the World Bank for infrastructure and construction mm. activities. Now, this is a very serious issue. And the unfortunate thing in this um, report is the fact that Nigeria moved from the fourth position in 2021 to the fifth position in 2022, meaning that we borrowed uh, about $1.3 billion in one fiscal year. $1.3 billion. $1 dollars. Because we were at uh, 11 point something in 2021 and now at 13 billion. And when you look at uh, other countries on that list, India, for example, is the number one on the list. But we can see from the analysis in that report that despite being number one, India still managed to cut down on its debts. Mm -hmm. It actually reduced its debt from about 22 billion in 2021 to, I think, 19.7 in 2022, which means that some countries are making efforts to cut down on their debt profile. But in the case of Nigeria, we are piling up our own debts. And if we look at it, that this is just the World Bank alone. There are other places, there are other financial institutions, financial institutions mm. where yeah, there is China. Mm. we have China. Mm. So it is a serious, serious, serious problem. And when the finance minister says things like, uh, we are still good at borrowing that, uh, the GDP to the debt, they are still whichever language. That, that's the <laughs> GDP ratio. Uh, uh, ratio that is still okay. But how much are we spending to service this, our debts? It, she told us the other time that uh, Nigeria now borrows to run its economy because our debt is now more than our revenue. revenue. Mm -hmm. So that is a very serious problem. Some people are telling us that we are spending about 70% of our total revenue. No, 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 90 something percent. Ah. To, to, to service <laughs> our debt. debt. Servicing debt. <laughs> so, where are we? It's a very serious problem. I don't know. You see, the turning point for me when, when we started paying more to service debt than the revenue we were making. Yeah. No, we don't, I don't need that's, any that's economics to explain that to me. Because um, told that um, we, what we spent on debt servicing was 300 billion higher than the revenue that we made for that quarter. Simple mathematics. So if your revenue is lower than what you spent on debt servicing, that's bankruptcy. Okay. And that's the same way that um, 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 uh, Muhammadu Sanusi, the former mayor of Kano, described it, that if you have a company and you are spending more money on interest than the profit that is coming to you. That, that's, that's bankruptcy. That's his analogy to uh, explain bankruptcy. Yes. We are in that streets. People send videos to me to show that this is not, it's not Nigeria uh, alone. Why not send videos 
of countries that are in good health to me. You know, you get the point that mm, I'm making. Mm, mm. In, in arguing that, look, there's nothing uh, to worry about, people will send videos to you to show that, oh, some countries of the world also have this problem. I want you to send videos of countries of the world who do not have this problem. That is what I aspire to see. I want my country to be among the best. Don't bring examples of countries that are laggards. And tell me that, look, it's not a big deal to be a laggard. I want to be counted among the best. That is my wish. So the way it is, we were talking about this thing. I know that on this program for more than two years now, I've been saying that debt to revenue ratio is the ratio that we should take seriously, not debt to GDP. What is our GDP in the, in the real sense of the word? What does it translate to? If you are piling up debt without the capacity to be able to pay, then it becomes a problem. In the end, you are going to borrow money to pay debt. And here was a country, or here is a country that got debt forgiveness the other day, mm. and uh, a president paid off our uh, debt. Mm. Now, we have, we have begun to pile up debt. All those who are saying that it's not a big deal to pile up debt. By the time you do not have money for infrastructure, we've been told now that 2023, that what we are supposed to spend on infrastructure is probably gone. That's capital development. It's probably gone. When you spend all your revenue, because even the projection oh, start for the next quarter, mm. There is no doubt that we are not going to meet that. All our revenue, we spend it on subsidy. We spend the rest. Now, you spend so much money on subsidy. N N NNPC will even come and say, no, we are not remitting anything to the federation you. account. Mm. We have spent all the money on so subsidy. So other revenue remitting agencies, they yes. will not be under pressure. Yes. So now, you know, Customs, the, 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 the big problem mm. is that these revenue generating agencies, mm. more than 60 of them, mm. the, the revenue... They, they, they generate, is generated in Naira form. Mm. These debts that you pay, they are denominated in dollars. So you actually need a lot more that Naira. Elta elta. You need a lot more Naira now to service your debt you than before. That's why your currency has to be strong. When your currency is weak, it has all kinds of uh, uh, ramifications, all kinds of problems that are tied to it. You need more Naira now to be able to pay those debts. And you must pay. You're obligated to pay. I've said it before that, look, there are consequences for piling up debts. People think that, oh, it's not a big deal. When Atiku complained then that we were spending 90%, mm. some people abused him. They said his mouth was smelling. Today, the facts are staring us. And no one has told us more than the person who should know, that's the finance minister, that the result of the last quarter showed that we, out, we, 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 we spent more than 300 billion more on debt servicing than we generated during that quarter. Is that not uh, Bank of something to be worried about? Because what are the indications that the trend will not continue? What are the indications? A lot of the revenue generating agencies, people are st simply stealing money. We have not found a way to stop them from stealing. You, you, they vote uh, money to those agencies. What they take, their budget is, you, are, you have discovered that they actually spend more, they don't generate even up to what was, uh, was uh, um, given to them in, uh, by way of the budget, what was appropriated to them. They don't generate. They are just there feeding off the system. So something radical has to happen. We cannot continue like this. The economy has to be better handled. So I wanted to ask, how did we get here? And it's not something that just happened a day. We've seen all the indications and we're still, you know, people were still telling us that all is well, all is well, all is well, till we got here. I, I think uh, we deliberately brought ourselves to where we are. And um, it's, all, it's just a function of um, 
people not knowing what to do. That's my conclusion. Because um, we know that when you, when you accumulate debt without producing what can make you to earn revenue, you are going to be in, prob in problem, in trouble. And the crude that is our major mainstay, if we are not managing it well, and we even have situations where the, uh, the crude is even being stolen, yeah. you get it? Yeah. We, yeah. So, and nothing is being done to uh, check all the hemorrhage in our financial system. What we will experience is what we are getting now. It's not something that just happened in a day. We've been borrowing to pay salaries long time before now. For years, we've been borrowing to pay salaries. You know, when the you... The governor even alleged at the point in time that we've been printing notes. Uh -huh. They <laughs> said so at that time, but they denied. <laughs> Apparently, you see, when that Edo governor said that, he, he, he spoke recently now to mm. say that he has been vindicated. Mm. That when he said that, you, when we needed money, we just go with even print. the former CBN governor, um, deputy governor, um, King Sri Mogalu, confirmed it. Uh -huh. So, mm. if you that do, when you do all those <laughs> things, they have repercussions. You know, it is not for free that we, people... We've been taking money from CBN to pay salaries and all that. Uh -huh. they, they call it ways and means. Uh -huh. And the World Bank has been warning that it is not good. So you, it's, not, it's not by... It's you, when you just do... When you go, you deliberately go out of the way, you try to manage your own economy the way you like. These are the kind of results we get. And okay. it's unfortunate.